Well, you know, friends and neighbors, it was just about one year ago today that uh, I got this $12 Family Pocket Bookshelt Retro TV, and I began this zany journey with you with this little Famiclone that played Yankee Doodle for some reason. And it's only fitting that for my year anniversary, we do a little bit of magic and behind the scenes special effects and I got this new guy. Hi everyone. I got this new guy. He's a goofy sand pal. He's the cool older brother of this little guy and it's kind of a passing of the torch. Out of the way, bookshelf. Oh, bookshelf took its revenge. It almost knocked the camera over. Let's just dive in and see what we got, Gary. <laughs> Do reviews. Surprise. Package from China. What could it be? Well, I'll answer your question with a knife. What do we got? Oh, God. Missed piece of plastic. Oh, oh, oh. We have a wireless SNES controller. And the star of the show, the Doozy Mini TV. It's a 3.5 inch Android TV from Doozy. It is a doozy of a product, and it's from our friends at Go Game Geek. They sent this to us. They said, Zoo, do you want to review something weird? And I said, Well, you know me. I always want to review something weird. So they sent me a Terminator, the T800. This manual is all in Chinese. That doesn't help. Yep. Ah, this one is in English. Simplified user manual. Well, there's lots of instructions. It comes with a remote control. We got buttons all over the place. It's Android. Huh. Boy, I tell you what, this could be pretty cool. This could be pretty cool. I wonder what she can play. Hey, Gary, can you put the specs on the screen for me while I fart around in here? Get out of there. Ooh. Oh. It is a garish orange. I like it. Very shiny. Oh, take that off. Satisfying. Can you see me, Gary? Uh, well, give me a minute. We'll plug her in. Let's turn her on. Manual power switch. Let's see where did I put that manual. I already discarded it. There it is. Pull the power switch up. Do you see it? Pull the power switch up. Ah. <laughs> ah. That's pretty neat. Okay, standby mode. Now I gotta flip the system switch too. Hmm. It's gonna be interesting to film, I tell you what. Now this didn't come with an SD card, so I'm gonna have to get a hold of one, which isn't a problem. Oh, <laughs> that's neat. Ah, oh, that is skewed as all get out. Ew. Oh well, does the remote work? Oh, the remote works. So I can just go through and do apps. I can download all my emulators on here. I can go to the Play Store. I can clear my memory. Huh. That's neat. Let's see if we can change the aspect ratio. Oh, it's in Chinese. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Let's see. We got volume over here. Up, down. And this, this changes the, the color. Ooh, very bright. And now it's black and white. <laughs> this is dumb, but I like it. So let's see if we can find the language settings here. It's hard to read. Um, hmm. Wait. Ha, ha, ha. Legend. Legend. All right. Well, I'm going to get an SD card. I'm going to let this wireless paddle that came with it, I'm going to let this charge. And uh, I guess we'll get we'll get back to the action. I spent a little bit of time getting Digisho set up, and it worked real nice until I tried to enter the path for the games, and it crashed every time. It just kept crashing. <sighs> so we're going to have to go through RetroArch. Unless I can maybe get another front end on here. But just for this video, we're going to try RetroArch. We're going to start off kind of easy here. Oh, what do you want to play, Gary? Corn Buster? No. 
Try some illusion of illusion of Gaia. I don't know how to save. I didn't set any of my hotkeys. Oops. This was a complete pain in the ass to set up. But uh, 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 hmm. this is giving me weird nostalgia feels. Especially if we screw with the settings a little bit, so it seems like there's something wrong with the TV. It's too bright. Let's, oh. Yeah, I dad got mad and smacked the TV when the Browns lost, so the color's not all the way there anymore. I wonder if I can get CRT filters on here. If I could get, and it's not going to work because it's not strong enough, but if I could get that, like, uh, consumer one that kind of bulges the screen a little bit. Oh, ho, 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 buddy. Can you see me? I'm enjoying this. Okay. Okay, I like this. Let's try some other SNES games. This is neat. I don't know if it's going to play Yoshi's Island at 100%. It was lagging pretty hard in the menu. I'll take 99.9% .9 of the SNES library on this little mini TV. Oh, <laughs> I like it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This isn't smooth, but it's not bad. It's playable. Whee! Radical! I've come full circle. I'm playing Famicom games on an Android TV box inside a little miniature TV. I originally started playing a Famiclone $12 mini TV. Now I have one little play Game Boy Advance and some PlayStation, but I still just keep coming back to Turtles. Pizza time! Can I... Uh, shaders? Can I put shaders on? It's not gonna work, is it? Failed, dang it. It's gotta be like... some basic CRT little run. Okay, I don't like it, but we're, we're going in the right step here. Okay, that has just enough of the blur, like that phosphorus blur. Oh, jeez. I got nostalgias. <laughs> this is so stupid, but I like it. Like, what'd you do last night? Did you play Witcher 3 on your Steam Deck? No. No, I busted out this San Pao little TV box and played Ninja Turtles on it. Like, Shredder's Revenge? No. <laughs> no way, dude. I, ju I just played NES. I played Turtles 2 for NES. Oh, man, you know I had to do it to him. This is stupid, but I like it. I feel like that's the that should be the title. Gary, write that down. This Android TV box is stupid, but I like it. Seth's gonna grab her brusquely. <laughs> I love this game. This game is like this TV. It's stupid, but I love it. Oh, kill him, Erica. Never had a chance. All right, let's try some PlayStation. See if we can break this song on. Oh, I didn't put the BIOS in. Dang it. Okay. Aspect ratio is weird. Let's get to the gameplay. What can you see in the reflection while it's loading? My beautiful face. Couldn't jump over it. What the Sam Hill? There you are. Let's see what else we can get to run on PlayStation. I mean, this place. I'm not good, but this place good.
<laughs> Some janitor at this airport hangar is going to come in tomorrow and be very upset. Nailed it. Alright. So, PlayStation's not bad on here. I'm going to try to see if I can get Game Pass running on this. I mean, Game Pass itself let me log in and it opened. We're just going to see if it'll let me play the games. If this works. <laughs> this kind of works. This is kind of like... It's obviously not ideal, right? This isn't the preferred way to do it. But um, I can kind of play Sea of Stars in a manner of speaking on this little San Pao TV. So this thing does have a fan, by the way. It, it blows out a little bit of air from the bottom here. So I don't, I don't know if it's going to overheat or what, but... Uh-oh. Didn't like that. Hello? Well, it has crashed. Or something. Okay, I switched to 5G wireless, and we'll see if this helps. So stay tuned. Honestly, I don't expect Game Pass to work. This is just me kind of really pushing the boundaries and, you know, f padding out some time. It's only so much you can talk about this cool little retro TV. It is pretty cool. Uh, at the end of the video, I will show you my ideal use case, which I think is kind of a kind of a cool notion. But uh, we'll get there. Okay, so it's playing a little bit better. A lot better, actually. Get wrecked. Okay, so super basic Game Pass games might work on here if you have a pretty good Wi-Fi. It's, it's a hidden bonus. I kind of like it. And you can play it in black and white and pretend like it's some sort of alternate reality that never happened. Some sort of super advanced steampunk 1950s. What's that, Mom? The Kaiser's on the march again. I gotta go. And then the last thing I wanted to show you, let me, let me get it set up. It's easier to use the remote on this. But you can watch your YouTube on here. And I guess if you really wanted, you might be able to d directly connect to a, a Plex server or whatever media server you have and watch your stuff directly. This is really meta. Let's watch this in the past. What if there was? Who said that? Who's there? Who's there? <laughs> That's right. Mint, the partner of today's video. Yeah, this is yeah wait a minute, Gary. I'm just trying to see what the weather's going to be. I think something's wrong with this TV station. I wish newscasters talk like this. Now they're just talking like regular people, but it used to be like, Yes, I must tell you that there's going to be a storm from the southeast tomorrow. So anyway, one of the cool things I like about this, you can just watch dumb YouTube on here. My Netflix didn't want to cooperate. But you can watch YouTube, you can probably get all sorts of other media servers connected if you wanted to. It's got the, the Cody, was that Cody? Whatever, media server app on it. I don't know, which is kind of neat. Oh, oh, it's going to rain in my neck of the woods. Uh-oh. Now, they were calling for it to be sunny the other day. But, eh, what do you know? Well, Gary, what did we learn? We learned that the San Pao TJ800 is a uh, kind of a hard-to-set-up little Android TV box. It's got enough power to play up the PlayStation. Not all your PlayStation, but a lot. You can obviously watch media on here, which is kind of a neat little thing that I like to do. Uh, I have a really special use case I'm going to show you after the What Did We Learn before the credits. And I might get fired, but whatever. You guys will subscribe, right? If I get fired for my special use case, I need every single person watching this video to subscribe and then get your friends to subscribe. The analytics show probably 25% of you or less are actually subs so just subscribe so i can get some money if i get fired for my outlandish stunt i'm about to pull but anyway we learned that this sucker is uh about 120 dollars you can get it on sale for a little cheaper if you want and it's 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 a very special use case right i wouldn't go out and say this is the entertainment device of 2023 you have to have it but uh i would say if you can get it for cheap or if you like little things like this uh I, eh, it's really it's charmed me 
So I spent about two or three days, you know, farting around with the SD card, downloading stuff. I had to sideload a couple apps because the Google Play Store wouldn't let me download certain things. Uh, I ran into all sorts of problems. Daiji Show didn't want to run. I had, like, I installed the wrong cores for every single thing in, in RetroArch. Uh, but even after all that, there's something about it that's endearing. I, and you can turn black and white on. I, I don't know. That's the stupidest thing, but I love it. This is stupid, but I love it. If you got 130, eh, plus or minus 10 to spend on someone, you want to give them a really weird, <laughs> unique gift, this might be it. Uh, you can use it as just a little Android device. You can stream things on it. You can play games up to PlayStation. It's just goofy. It's a pain in the butt to set up. I will say that. It's a pain in the butt. I couldn't get my mouse to work on it. It doesn't have Bluetooth that I could see, so I couldn't get like a wireless mouse or even an old phone to try to use as a keyboard. I tried plugging in an actual keyboard. That was more trouble than it was worth. I ended up just using the remote that came with it, and I just tick, 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 whatever I had to type in. It was kind of aggravating. I ended up sideloading a bunch of APKs just because I couldn't be bothered to download them from the internet. However, it's neat. It comes with the uh, this controller, which, you know, it's not going to set the world on fire, but... It is what it is. You can plug any USB in there. You, what, what, if you got a better controller or one with a, a dongle that you like better, it's kind of neat. It's stupid, but I like it. I guess that's what I learned. Um, if you're looking for something that's the ultimate bang for your buck, don't get this. Get a you know, 353V or a, a 35XX or maybe a RK2023 if you have no regard for your own thumbs. But, but this is more of a niche. I got a little bit of money to spend and I'm stupid, but I want to have something that's neat. And I, I like it. It's dumb. It's dumb, but it's neat. I guess that's my takeaway. Dumb, but neat. You put that across the screen, Gary. Also, pass Gary. Good job setting up that frame. We're going to go show you my secret use case. And then after that, I want you guys to take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Take care of your hands. Take care of your helds. You know what they say. Horse to ride, horse to eat. Let's quit horsing around. Get on with this video. I'm going to show you my secret favorite thing to do with this little Sanpo TV. I watch TV in my office when I'm on my break. Haha, <laughs> don't tell anyone, Gary. What's that? Oh yeah, I'm really busy in here. I got, uh, oh, I got a lot of problems going on and I, I... yep, yep, I'm probably not going to be done until five. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I know. I can't help it. Uh-huh. All right. Ha, ha, ha.